Then finally, victory will be mine. Fate dictates our moves, and it's your destiny to lose. Victory will be mine. Fate dictates our moves, and it's your destiny to lose. It's just impressive what you can do with the real-time compositor in Blender 3.5. And in today's video, we're going to talk about the different factors that help you create lip sync in 2D animation using Grease Pencil. Also, as you can see here, the entire composition depends also on the lights that you use, if they either affect your Grease Pencil object or not. I created this animation using Rhubarb 2D Lip Sync Add-on. finally, victory will be mine. Fate dictates our moves. I wanted to try this add-on when I saw how simple the setup was. In Blender, just select your target, set your mouth shapes, add a sound file, and there you go. I said you got all that? To get started, you're going to want to download the add-on from my Gumroad page. So I went to Tiny Nick's Gumroad and downloaded Rhubarb to the lip sync for Blender. So when you do that, you get this folder. Click on Open for the Windows version. The latest one is 4.01. Later in Blender, go to Preferences, Add-ons, Install. Navigate to your directory where you unpack the add-on and then click on install. Mark this checkbox and the add-on should install itself and also the rhubarb lip sync executable. In the case that this is not possible because you get some Windows error, whatever, you can go ahead and visit the GitHub page for the rhubarb lip sync, download its package and then unzip it on any folder location on your hard drive. In my case, I unpacked it on the E drive. I'm going to copy this path and then paste it on the add-ons rhubarb exit path. Now let's set up the mouth for the animation in the grease pencil object. So I'm just fast forwarding this because I have explained in other videos that you can select and create your grease pencil object using the draw mode and in particular in this case, we're going to create a new layer called Mouth. Each frame has a different type of mouth, okay? It's a different drawing. Now, if you press N on the 3D viewport, you will see that you have access to Rhubarb to the sync from the side tab, tab bars. And I'm going to add a new modifier to the Grease Pencil object, which is called Time Offset. I'm going to type the name so that we can identify this as Ishizu Mouths. And from there, the mode that we're going to choose is Fixed Frame. After that, I want to influence specifically only the mouth for the layer for the mouths. Okay? And that is called, of course, Mouths. And you can see right here the correlation. Then in the Rhubarb 2D Lip Sync, we're going to select the mode to time offset and it will automatically detect what the name of the modifier was, in our case, Ishizu's mouth. The next thing that I'm going to show you is that this green uh, light that you see right here, it's a real phoneme name, okay? Mouth A, B, C, D, blah, blah, it's just a list. So don't pay attention to that, pay attention to the things that are in the parentheses. So right now I'm going to adjust each frame number to the corresponding mouth shape, okay? So that's what I'm doing here. So mouth E is going to be set on frame 6, that's when it's going to happen. And then you can target the sound file, please use a WAV file, and then click on Rhubarb Lip Sync. It will automatically create the different mouth shapes by keyframing the lip sync according to each of the mouth's drawn pose in the mouth's layer frame number in stepped interpolation. Now let's add that same WAV file directly into Blender by using the VSE comp the VSE editor, sorry. So you come here to the video sequencer and I'm going to open my explorer window and drag and drop the WAV file. I'm going to rename this as voiceover and after that I go to the overlays, wave display and then switch the waveforms on. That way we can read where the peaks and valleys are going to happen when Ishizu is speaking. After that, you need to come here to the animation timeline, select sync to frame dropping, scrubbing, and that's all. From there, if you press play, or you can drag the playhead, you will hear the sound. 
And this is it, this is the entire tutorial. Now if you want to keep on learning more tricks, please stay for the following. Let's talk about the compositing with my new anime cell shading node for the real-time compositor. So I'm going to be switching here to the compositor editor and this is the way I have my nodes connected. I have explained this and uh, you can read it in the top right cards and you can get the node for free. So I'm going to activate the real-time compositor for the camera only and this is without the render, the final render and this is the solid view if we can call it that way and here it's the final uh, render with lights. The interesting thing is that you can mix 2D and 3D objects in the same workspace, in the same 3D space rather. Even the lights will contribute to the general mood for the composition for your grease pencil object. In my case I'm going to be selecting this warm tone so that Ishizu looks more contrasty against the background. Okay, in my previous video that you can see on the cards, I talked about the difference between illustration and anime design, or rather anime um, drawings. And this is the case with Ishizu. As you can see on the right side, she is illustrated. And this comes from the manga style that Mr. Kazuki Takahashi-san created for this series, okay? But when you're working in anime, you want to simplify as much as you can the entire character design okay but the thing that adds to the character is the shadow design I have repeated this over and over through all of my videos that whenever you're creating characters in 2d or 3d if you get to the shadow design okay and the eye design you're basically nailing the character itself like it's pretty much recognizable when you do these things so the correct way to mix all of these things is by tinting in blue with different opacity grades in the layers using the grease pencil options. I'm finally going to be covering the Enrich add-on. This is a very important add-on, a game changer for everyone who have been compositing in After Effects or Nuke or any other uh, compositing package because this adds the ability to create presets pretty quickly as much as you stack the effects on any other application even in Android phones or any app these days you can select different presets for coloring your final render and that is just fantastic because with the real-time compositing options that we're going to get in Blender 3.5 the Enrich add-on is surely going to be part of our compositing tool set and here I'm just selecting some effects to boost the color the chromatic aberration and also the saturation. Okay, so if you like this video, please don't forget to follow. Please subscribe if you are not following or subscribing to the channel. And let me ask you something. Have you tried Blender? Try Blender. Blender is powerful and beyond artistry compatible. Then finally, victory will be mine. Fate dictates our moves and it's your destiny to lose.